The Blast Hand Shield is a great tool to help us work on developing contact with the shoulder. This first drill is called Brace Squeeze. So I'm gonna start from the fit position with my right shoulder. I have to create a brace angle with my left foot because I want all of my energy to redirect through the center mass of my opponent. If I stay in a square position with my hips and just uncoil like I do with my hand fits, I'm gonna waste some of my energy that isn't advantageous for whatever my objective is. So to start this drill, I'm gonna start with my right shoulder on, I'm down in a coil posture, my hands are out in front of the body. Coach is gonna say brace, I'm gonna brace my outside foot being sure the instep is perpendicular to the shoulder that's connected. I'm gonna reset. When I brace this foot, I need my head, shoulders, and my hips to stay square head. If I deviate my, my body posture and turn open, when I go to uncoil, again, I'm wasting energy. So again, I'm gonna start fit down in the coil posture. Coach says brace. When coach says squeeze, I'm gonna uncoil and drive off of the instep on this new angle that I've created. I can go through the center mass of my opponent. I can switch sides. I can connect the pad to my left shoulder. I'm gonna brace with my outside foot, my right foot. I'm gonna go brace, squeeze. Get, getting connected, brace, squeeze. And I can drive and feel my body attacking on that new angle created by that brace step. Once your player established some confidence in using that brace step to create that new angle of force, now we can hit the pad and introduce the fit. Unlike our other methods of contact with our hands, the uncoil must occur after our shoulder touches our opponent. So in order to get there, we're gonna start off of the blast hand shield in our two-point coil. Coach is gonna say brace. When coach says fit, I have to first teeter until my shoulder touches the pad. So I'm gonna be very close to the pad. Coach says brace, on fit, I'm teetering forward, and I'm going to uncoil the moment my shoulder touches. So I'm starting head up in that coil posture. When I take that brace step, I've offset, I've triangulated the body, and now I'm gonna teeter into my uncoil. Shoulder contact is one of the many drills that you can work on with the Blast Hand Shield and help your players get ready to dominate on game day.